What is going on YouTube? It is my absolute pleasure to bring you this brand new deck profile of uh, Jack Atlas's um, Resonator deck or Red Dragon Archfiend deck or as I'm going to call it Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend deck um, with Resonators obviously and it's the kind of red deck. Um, so yeah, so I've had this on the channel plenty of times. It is probably my most viewed uh, video of deck profiles of any deck profile I've done before. And I do really, really love the deck. I have to say that's why I think it's the most liked because I do put a lot of uh, thought into this deck and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the best of the Resonators is Red Resonator. Red Resonator is amazing. It's uh, like a Goblin Berg or a Tim Goldfish. Or, um, you can just normal summon and special summon another um, uh, level 4 or lower. And then if it's special summon, you get to gain life wins equal to the, monsters, uh, the highest monster on the field's attack. Next, the second best is Synchron Resonator. You can special summon if you control a Synchro monster. And also, uh, you can, uh, if this card is used as a Synchro monster, you can bring back a Resonator from the graveyard to your hand. So you reuse all them. Next, two Red Nova. Um, I'll probably change one of these for a Yoko Tuner when it comes out. Um, oh, fuck. Sorry. So I will show that once I get it. It should be coming out very, very soon. And uh, yeah, sorry. I'm really messing up with the cameras when I'm making these videos and um, so yeah so what this does is kind of the same as this card creation resonator what it does is kind of special summons itself if there's level 8 or higher synchro monster in the field and uh, then you can add a fire type tuner from your deck to your hand Um sorry so I use the one creation resonator just because the same thing a uh, special summon if there's a level higher uh, synchro monster in the field and it's one of the only three I run because this is mostly twos and stuff like that Um Next is the one tuning gun, which is a new card I tried testing and actually like it. So you can target one face of monster you control and make it a tuner monster. That's pretty much all it does. But the main thing is, during either player's turn, when a card effect is activated that targets exactly one synchro monster you control and no other cards, you can banish this card from the graveyard and get the activation. So it's kind of an extra bit of saving power for your Red Dragon Archfiend or any synchro monster really while it's in the grave. Next chain resonators, basically the same as Yoko Tuner. Um, when you normal summon a synchro monster in the field, you can special another resonator from deck, but Yoko Tuner is a little bit better. So I might change, I'll chop and change and see what I like the best uh, once I test it out. So that is it for the tuners, um, kind of. And next is the monsters. So first we have Red Warg, previously known as Red Wolf. Um, and this is if you normal summon a resonator monster, you get to special summon this guy. So he's level 6 and it makes your level, level 8 plays very, very easy. Um, next, Red Sprinter, a really, really good card as well. It's uh, when there's no other monsters to feel, you normal summon this guy, you special summon a fiend tuner from the grave. That's pretty much it. Uh, really well with red resonator and stuff because you get your life point boost and stuff like that. Um, next, Primitive Butterfly. Uh, I was trying things like um, red layer and stuff like that. But this one just has this, like, I can use Creation Resonator with this guy, but I also use all the 2s and 1s with it because I can get 7s, 8s, all that kind of stuff. It's just the whole kind of no monsters on the field, Cyber Dragon kind of effect is good. But this one, to just change the level for an extra, for a 6 instead of a 5, is just really, really good in this deck. Like, um, Next, probably a new one for most of you guys, um, is Red Gardener. So, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control a Red Dragon Art Fiend monster, um, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. So it basically just saves. Like you just you have this in your hand. It's like a hand trap. You save all your monsters, all your uh, red dragon archery monsters. Pretty pretty good. Next is red mirror. You're one of each. Uh, when your opponent monsters declares an attack, send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Attack one fire fiend type monster to the graveyard. Except red mirror, add it to your hand. If you synchro summon while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step. Or to turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can add this card from your hand. So it basically just brings back your uh, red resonator and red um, nova. So you have a one and a two that pretty much can set up your plays while you have this in your hand, and you just um, just keep using it to keep summoning stuff. So it, I thought it was really good. So that's it for the monsters anyway. And uh, we want three resonator called pretty pretty simple, self-explanatory. Just adds a resonator to your hand. Next, a new card I've been adding uh, is really, really good. It's Resonator Destruction. And what that does is each time a Resonator monster is sent to the graveyard because of a Synchro material, you can target one card your opponent controls uh, destroy the target. Destroy this card during the second activation. So if you have two on the field and you just some, Synchro someone once, you're destroying two cards your opponent controls. It's really, really good. Like uh, It's an old card as well, but it's actually really, really strong. I mean, if you just have that and you're going to go on your plays. I mean, it's pretty, really good. 
Dark Hole, because a lot of the time you need no monsters on your field anyway. I'm probably bumping this up to two, but I'll see. Soul Charge, just get all your big plays back. Twin Twisters, because I hate back row. Upstart Goblin, I do have an English one, like I said in my other videos. Um, but I just couldn't be asked to make, find it for this uh, deck profile, just because it's Upstart Goblin. Everybody knows, 39 card deck, basically. One for one, because you have so many level ones to choose from. Mind control because most synchro decks should, should you run mind control because you can just take your opponent's monster and use rob them for synchro summon because it says nothing about not using them for synchros. Next, another one of Jack's kind of special cards was uh, uh, Reject Reborn. Um, what this one does is when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, so you just have nothing on the field, just say you dark hole and set this. Um, declare a direct attack, end the battle phase, then you can special summon one tuner monster and one synchro monster from your graveyard, but their effects are negated. So you can just basically get back anything you want and then just synchro summon on your turn when the battle phase is ended. Obviously, if they try and destroy it, that's fair enough, but they're using resources. You have to remember they're using resources to destroy uh, the cards that you've summoned off one card. So the next one then is when your opponent's monster declares an attack on a synchro monster, this is King Synchro by the way, um, you control and negate the attack, then you can apply this rest of this effect. So first of all, you can just negate the attack anyway on the Synchro Monster. But it also has a second bit of, um, uh, you can, okay, so banish the Synchro Monster you control and one tuner from your graveyard. And if you do special summon from your extra deck, one Synchro Monster uh, whose level equals the total levels. So that's really, really good in this deck because you have things like Abyss and Bane and stuff. And you only need one uh, thing. Next Solemn Morning, feel free to change it for a Dimension Barrier, Solemn Strike, whatever your fancy. This one, King Scarlet, think of a change in this one because it's a bit slow, but if a Red Dragon Archery monster control battles, during the damage calculation, doesn't matter when it is, um, make the monster you control unable to be destroyed by battle, and if you do, special summon this card as a normal fiend type level 1. So just say you're going to attack, and then on your main phase 2 you're going to get a bigger monster, like Abyss and stuff. So it's really, really good, I mean, you have your Red Dragon Archery fiend, and then just like, I just think it's good for that, that's what my main purpose of using it was, but you only use Root 1. Call it a Haunted because uh, just to get all your monsters back or even combo pieces and stuff. And then Vanity's Emptiness I run in all my decks just because uh, you don't want your opponent to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Now for the extra deck, the most important part of any deck, except for Monarchs. So, two Red Wyvern just because it's a beautiful, beautiful card. I think it's really, really cool. Um, artwork is amazing. Um, I could run Stardust Charge Warrior, or you could run Stardust Charge Warrior if you'd like to draw that extra card. But just the fire and the dragon type really helps a lot of different times. Especially if you're running things like Red Cocoon, which I was thinking of. Uh, Moonlight, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, I recently got the anime. Uh, I always love Jack stuff, so I got the anime and I got this card in it. So it's not legitimate here, but I do have a super if you watch my old videos. Um, but this one just bounces, um, bounces monsters back, really cool. Um, Next one, Black Rose Dragon, Nuke the Field, uh, pretty good. One of my favourite Synchros, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, and uh, Crystal Wing to go with him, because the two of them are just amazing. I mean, look at the artwork as well, it's just beautiful, beautiful cards. I think Synchros have some of the most beautiful artworks in the game. Next, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, like I said, the manga, got these all from manga, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so this one destroys all face of attack these monsters, and you get to attack directly, no other monster can attack. Then I have good old reliable Red Dragon Archfiend. It destroys all defense position monsters just in case your opponent's playing defensey. And you kind of need those four level eights just because uh, you really do keep going, in, going into them and stuff. Um, so yeah. And a kind of throwback to use this. Then probably my favorite synchro monster is Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. It's just an amazing, amazing card. In the anime, like you can, you can OTK and stuff with it just with the 4,000 life points. So it's very easy to, to get to destroy your monster in first turn 4,000 light points. It's very easy to summon this card as well. It's treated as a Red Dragon Archery monster and any monster with attack lower than it is automatically going to be destroyed and you inflict 500 damage for that and it can still attack. It's really, really nice. Next, uh, you have Abyss. Abyss is just really good because it can negate things like Dark Hole and Mirror Force and stuff like that. And I know they're not really in the meta at the minute, but when you're playing those non-meta decks, it's really, really strong because it stops them playing. It's also like, if you just say you had, I'm not saying you can make this in the deck, but if you were like a Crystal Wing and this, I mean, that's two negations. Same as like DDDs and Siegfried right now, Siegfried and Crystal Wing. I mean, this does pretty much the exact same thing. Um, and also, you can uh, if you inflict damage, you can special summon a tuner from the grave. Next, Bane, amazing card, um, another one of Jack's boss monsters. Uh, so what he can do is you contribute a monster on the field, and uh, especially when a Red Dragon Archfiend monster from the graveyard, so all those big monsters you can just bring back very, very easily for a crappy monster. 
Um, and also, if this card attacks or inflicts battle damage, you can special summon uh, this a tuner from your graveyard and then the same one from your deck. So just say you have red, you can summon another red. So you have two fours. Um, so next one, one of the newer cards as well is uh, Tyrant Project and Archfiend. Beautiful card. You can nuke the field straight away. And then uh, if your opponent activates Spell and Trap card during the battle phase, you gain 500 attack and negates it. It's a pretty, pretty good. Um, and then... Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Now, I don't this is a very high combo based deck, so I'm just gonna go over a very, very quick, easy combo. Yes, yeah, so let me have a look here. What else do I have here? Um Okay. So this is a two-card combo, nearly knocked the camera again. This is your two-card combo, very, very easy. These are both in your hand. Um what you want to do is you normal summon this, which allows you to special summon this. Now, red resonator effect would activate, where just say you have one more tuner in your hand, doesn't matter which. You have this or this, doesn't matter. You can normal summon this, or you can normal or special summon this later. Doesn't really matter. Let's just say this then for now. But it has to be any tuner you want, any tuner, because he can special summon that. Anyway, so you'll have three monsters on the field, regardless. And then you're going to go into. Uh, you're going to go into your. You're going to synchro these two. You're going to go into your Scarlight. And then, based on this or this, you can go into your big monsters. I mean, if you have this and this, you can go into... Uh, I mean, you can just go into either um, Bane, if it's these two. Or you can go into Abyss, if it's these two. That's pretty much the combo. Not really anything special. You all know it. But this combo, the deck is really based off how many cards you have and all the synchros and going crazy, making crazy play shenanigans and stuff. But uh, I'll leave it up to your imagination. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, Phantom Duelist saying good luck.